Hello and welcome to another Maximum Power Up video. I'm Aaron, the new guy. Um, got a few pickups and unboxing today of the new Metroid. Before we get on with that, I just want to say thanks to Paul and Phil for letting me come aboard. Uh, doing some tweaks to the videos, have you probably seen? Been fun learning how to use Adobe, Photoshop, and Premiere. Uh, yeah, so hope you're enjoying it so far. So let's crack on, shall we? So first up, obviously I just said the unboxing of this, the new Metroid on 3DS Samus Returns, the Legacy Edition. So let's see what's inside, shall we? So first of all, we have got what is this? A little box with a Samus S on it. As you can see, I haven't opened any of this. I've been saving it for the video. Played a bit of it last night. Very good so far. So if you haven't got it, I recommend it. So you can see, look at this, nice little box. And we've got a nice little pin badge. You can see that. Very smart. Take it out, have a look. Get it in focus, shall I? So yeah, very neat and tidy. Back in the box. So what else we got in here? Goodies. We've got a blind bag of some sort. So we'll get that open. Have a ganders. Ooh. We've got a morph ball keyring. Very nice, very nice indeed. Well, I've got enough keyring, so I'll probably just keep it on the side, to be honest. Uh, we've got, looks like an art book. So you've got the original Game Boy artwork there, and on the other side, we've got the new artwork. Have a quick click through, and have a look, see what's in there. So you've got some original artwork by the looks of it. Uh, some nice pictures in here actually. Flick through a bit more. The Metroids. A few other enemies. And then oh, the book flicks over. And you got the newer stuff, as you can see. What else have we got? Oh. Samus. So yeah, very nice. Very nice indeed. Next, in the bag of goodies, we've got obviously the game itself. Oh, sorry, not the camera. The game itself. Obviously, it's not in there at the minute because I'm playing it. Uh, but what? No. I did hear you could swap the sleeve around, but not on this one. Weird, I'll have to have a look into that. Put that down there. Next we've got the Steelbook case, which is pretty cool actually. It's shaped like an original Game Boy cartridge. Sorry for the reflection there, that's better. That's, that's nice. We've got these screw holes. So, it's empty. Next up, we've got oh, a CD with the tracks on it. Sorry for the reflection there. I'm doing this at night, so I've got all the lights on. And all the songs, I don't think it's going to pick them up, to be honest. But there is 25 tracks on there from all the different Metroid games. So yeah, decent. I'll give that a listen. And last of all, we've got what appears to be a code for the original game from the 3DS shop. Which is a nice little touch because I've never played the original. And that turns into a poster. So yeah, not bad, not bad at all. Alright, moving on to pickups. So I've got a few PlayStation games here, so if you don't like PlayStation, sorry. 
I have got an N64 on at the end though, which is one I've been waiting for for a long time. So stick around for that. So first of all, we've got a bit of a, a classic PlayStation game. Probably one of my favorites actually on the PS1. And it is Driver. Great game, great game. Got this in CEX, as you can see, two quid. Couldn't ignore it at that. See so yeah, a decent game. Didn't really like it when they changed it number two, started the on foot sections. Felt it went a bit too GTA style. Worked well, for me. Preferred the just the um the driving driver, obviously. The name of the game. Should have left it at that. <laughs> Next we've got a bit of an obscure one. I've heard of the TV show, I never knew there was a game, but it was in a charity shop, 99p, couldn't ignore it. It is World's Scariest Police Chases. I've had a quick go on it, as you'll see, because I'm going to put game gameplay on this video, and it couldn't be any more American. Literally chasing cars, if they don't pull over, shoot them. Simple as that, really. So, I don't know what else to say. It's quite fun. If you haven't tried it and you can find it for a quid, give it a go. For the 502, over. Next up, now we're on the PS2 games. Uh, this game was one of my brothers, me and my brother's favourite, used to play it, play it a lot on co op. Uh, quite realistic, I thought, at the time. And it is the first Sniper Elite. So, yeah, by Rebellion. Get a look at the back. It's so obviously a set during World War II. You play a sniper um, trying to take down Nazis, most likely. I can't really remember, to be honest. Um, but I remember the physics were quite good. You had to account for bullet drop, that sort of thing. Disguise your bullets when the bombs went off. So yeah, it was fairly fairly decent. Um, don't really like the newer ones too much. I thought they were a bit crap, to be honest. I think they went away from the realism a little bit. Went a bit more to Call of Duty for me. But yeah, again, 99p. Sorry for the glare. So I couldn't ignore it. Decent game. Next up is a hell of a good game, I think, anyway. It is the first Max Payne. So, yeah, again, a quid. I'm not going to leave this for a quid. Box is a bit broke here, if you can see. But everything's inside. So, yeah. So yeah, the reason I bought this game originally, uh, when it came out on the PS2, the bullet time sold me really. Excellent feature. Obviously at the time, when did this come out? 2001, so Matrix was big news. Bullet time, slow-mo, everyone loved it. Uh, story's good. Um, his family gets murdered by a couple of crackheads. So he goes on the hunt for the dealer as far as... Yeah, yeah, because I'm the hunt for a dealer. And you just kick ass and shoot everyone. 
What more do you want from a game? So yeah, Max Payne, the first one. I think I, I played two. I can't really remember much of number two, to be honest. Three is really good. Got it on the PC, on Steam. So yeah, decent game. Again, a quid. I'm not leaving it behind for a quid. Next one, another PS2 game. I think the rest are PS2 games apart from the N64 game, so apologies for that if you don't like PlayStation. Uh, probably one of the better racing games on the PS2. Uh, again, 99p, charity shop find. We're finding charity shops at the minute. There's a lot of PlayStation games. Usually it's crap FIFA, FIFA this, FIFA that, Pro Evo, manager games, rubbish. But just lately, they've been finding a lot of PlayStation games. The odd original Xbox game, but I haven't got an OG Xbox, so I'll just leave them there. Someone else can have them. But it is Burnout 2, Point of Impact. Look at the back. Sorry if you can't see it. I don't know if the camera's picking it up very well. Again, everything's in there. Can't really argue with that for a quid. Uh, played a lot of this game when it came out originally. Again, what were we saying? 2002. Forever. Remember, I think it had the crash junctions on this one. If I remember right. I'll have to play it again to find out, but... The damage was really good on it, the damage model for what it was at the time, and the racing was good. Yeah, spent a hell of a lot of time just smashing cars up, which was really good. So again, yeah, 99p, not getting left behind. Next one, another racing game. If you can tell, I like driving games. I like cars. I'm a mechanic, so you know it helps. And it is. It's actually an arcade Sega classic on the PlayStation. And it is Crazy Taxi One. And again, complete. What more can you ask for, really? 99p. Uh, never had this on the PlayStation 2 originally. I had the GameCube version. Um, played it a lot. Love this game. Love the arcade game. I remember going, used to go to the pub after football when I was younger. I'd always be having to go on this if it was there. But yeah, have a lot of fun. Pick up and play it. 10 minutes, 5 minutes, whatever you want really. Yeah, the soundtrack was good. Offspring soundtrack on there. Good tunes, good game. Again, a quid. Go up the hill! Okay, hang on. Wow! Go straight! Yeah, yeah, I got it. Yeah! day! You're so bad! Next one is a game I hadn't played before. Um, I thought it was actually crap, to be honest, when I first saw it, like when it originally came out. But I've had a little go since I picked it up, and it's not half bad. And it is Agent Under Fire, James Bond game. Not set on any film or anything, which is probably a good thing, because as we know, film games set on films are shite most of the time. Um, but yeah, it's alright. For me, it's no golden eye. Nothing will ever beat GoldenEye. Um, but yeah, I ain't played it for long. Probably 
10, 20 minutes. As you'll see, there'll be gameplay in this video so you can see what it's like for yourself. Um, this one is missing the manual, but hey ho, you can't win them all, can you? Again, a quid. But yeah, it's alright, I suppose. The, um, played a bit of the first mission, as you'll probably see on the video. Got a lot of gadgets and stuff to use. The shooting's quite good, the guns feel nice. But yeah, again, not golden eye. Careful, 007. They may know you're inside. Hit the deck! Mmm, fireworks. Next one, I've got a couple of film tie-ins. We'll do these in order, actually. Uh, hack and Slash game, played a lot of this with my brother originally when it came out. Love the film, I think it's the best one. Um, great co-op game for me. Great film trilogy as well, and it is Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. So yeah, again, a quid. Manual, everything. Disc. Platinum edition, yeah, but so what? Uh, really good game, hack and slash. I know Paul said on the podcast he doesn't like these ones, he prefers the third age. Yeah, I played a little bit of it. More my brother played it than me. I'm more of a fan of these ones, just kill everything on screen. So, yeah, two player, it's really good. Obviously, you work your way through the movie. Actually, a decent tie in of the film. I thought it represented the film quite well. Fighting's good. Upgrade your character, unlock moves, that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, it's it's decent to be honest. Again, a quid. Defend yourself, sire. There are too many. You must defend. Speed attacks will overcome this one. The next one, <laughs> I couldn't believe I found this actually. Well, I say it's just weird after picking up the other one, but it is Return of the King, which is basically the same game but the third film. I don't think it's as good as Two Towers version myself. Um, Turn of the King film is good. Two Towers is the best for me. Again, complete. A pound. But charity shops, you have the odd. Like you go and a lot of them round here are just drained of everything. I've noticed a few have started outpricing or overpricing, shall I say, above CEX and eBay. I don't know where they're playing at. I don't know where they're getting their prices from. But. Yeah, again, for a quid, it's exactly basically the same as the other one, but a new skin. So yeah, hack and slash, good on, good co-op, decent game. Yeah, if you like Lord of the Rings, get it. Maybe your best defense again. Now, last pickup. This, well, say this. I've had, I had this game on release day when it originally came out in '98. Um, I've had every version of it: Japanese, PAL, 3DS version. Um, I've been looking for this version of it for a little while. Seen a few pop up on eBay, but they're mostly buy now and in America, and silly prices. Delivery from America at the minute is just crap. Obviously, probably Brexit, because everyone blames that. Uh, so yeah, I'm trying not to order things from America because the price is just crazy. So I have this set on 
eBay search, so if then there's a new one come up, I'll get a notification, get on there, have a look. And like I say, this version, I never see it on an auction, it's always buy it now, silly price. But I saw it on there, I'm going to watch it, and I noticed, whoever put it on there was a bit daft, because he set it to finish at half eleven, like during the day, work day. So that was always a bit silly. So I put what I wanted to pay at the time, I put a maximum bid in, and I got it for less than my maximum bid. So I'm very, very happy with that because I sold. I had an unboxed version of this, just the cartridge and the manual, and I sold them and basically made my money back just on the cartridge and the manual. And it is the best game on the N64, one of the best games ever. Legends of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, American Collector's Edition, with the, you can't really see it, the metallic gold box. Absolutely amazing, and it's actually partially sealed still. The end of it's been cut off, I don't know if you can, you can't really see, just so someone can get their way in the box. But you can sort of see there where it's shining, the cellophane's still on it. Um, get it out, have a look. But yeah, love this game. My most favourite game ever. I know people don't like it, think it hasn't aged well, or say Wind Waker's better, Skyward Sword's better. Not for me. This is the daddy of Zelda games for me. As you can see. You can't really see the, see the shine on it. It's very nice. Very, very nice. I'm well, well chuffed for picking this up. Uh, but yeah, love locker in a time. <clears throat> um, obviously got it when I was little. Well, say little teenager when it came out originally, 1998. Um, yeah, love this game. Try and play it once a year if I can. Obviously, the more I play it, the faster I go through it, which is a bit silly, but still can't help not playing it. And again. It's just amazing. Let's have a quick look inside. Show you the cartridge and the manual. So you got. Uh, it's got a little leaflet for Nintendo Power. And some. I don't know if you're going to see them because the camera probably isn't going to pick them up. Some little figurines down here. And then you got the Nintendo Power Guide. Got your little got an order form on there. So I've got some on the back. Got hoodies, hats. Sorry, I know you can't see it very well. It's a bit of crap. Uh, figures again. Is that a CD? Yeah, the soundtrack. And what is that at the bottom? It is a case for your N64. Sorry if you can't see it very well. So that's. Little leaflet in there. Obviously, you got your epilepsy warning. Uh, manual. Nice gold manual. American version, obviously. With the Nintendo authorised repairs centre on there. I think they're still going, actually. Probably. Uh, let's have a quick flip. Yeah. God, they wish they'd bring manuals back with stuff like that inside, because that just looks quality. Lovely. Love the Ocarina artwork. Very, very nice. So yeah, as you got different weapons. Sorry, I'm trying not to blur it out. Look at idiot. Tunics, shields, your boots. So yeah. Oh, I'm about to show you the cartridge actually, isn't it? A gold cartridge. Very swanky. Uh, Majora's Mars had a gold cartridge. Um, obviously the original version, well the standard version is grey. I can't remember if there was a PAL gold cartridge or not. I really don't remember, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, that's Zelda. Ocarina of Time. Best game ever. Heard it here. So that is everything, really. Uh, ah, one more thing. Uh, just grab it. Obviously, because I was getting the Samus edition, I had the old 3DS XL. 
was a bit worried it might lag a bit because I know it's underpowered compared to the new one. Like some of the uh, SNES games don't run off the eShop because it hadn't got the power. So I wanted a new one. I uh, was going to buy a new 3DS XL. I looked at the SNES version, but I did not want to pay £180 for a 3DS, which will be probably obsolete in six months to a year anyway because of the Switch. So I went down the 2DS XL alley, and I have to say I'm very impressed with it because I didn't use a 3D anyway because it gives me headaches. Because <sighs> you wrap it on, you get it the slightest wrong angle, and it just looks crap. So yeah, you can see me also. See, I'm quite impressed with that actually. The screen's nice, same size as the normal 3DS screens, obviously without the 3D. So yeah, it's very nice. So that is it. Uh, before I go, I just want to give a plug to the podcast. Uh, by the time this video goes out, the PS2 one will be out with Paul and Chris revisiting it. So if you haven't listened to it, go and listen to it. There'll be a link down below so yeah go listen to it uh, if you enjoyed the video thumbs up subscribe and we'll see you next time I don't know what I'm doing with my thumbs Bye.